Today we are going to be talking about how scary is Control Freak. Now if you don't know what Control Freak is, Control Freak is a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. It's a bit more of an obscure one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's made by Mittick, available on Game Jolt for free, doesn't cost anything. Pretty good game, I enjoyed it. Anyways, we're not talking about how good the game is, we're going to be talking about how scary it is. We're going to rate it at the end of the video on a scale from 1 to 10. Let's get right into it, I'm going to avoid spoilers for people who haven't played it. And I'm going to try and make the video enjoyable for people who have also played it. Uh, be sure to join my Discord server. Link is in the description. And yeah, let's get right into it. The worst thing about these games, I do everything in my power to not get jump scared. Ah! 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 No, I got a panic! Ah! Let's begin with the atmosphere. Now, the game places you in an office like most Five Nights at Freddy's games do. However, you'll have the ability to look right in front of you down a hallway or to your left all the way down a hallway. And you'll all be supplied with a flashlight, of course, to see if there's any creepy crawlies in your way. And uh, to your right is a computer where you can check cameras. Now, what's really interesting about this game, which I was very surprised by for such like a smaller fan game that I just kind of never heard of before. Uh, the animatronics move in real time, both in front of you when they're near your office and on the cameras, which is really cool. Yeah, it's at a lower frame rate on the cameras, but it is still really cool to see them move around. It's pretty freaky. It definitely adds to the scare factor. Now let's move on to the gameplay. What is the gameplay? Yeah, you're in an office. Yeah, there's a few hallways, but what do you do? You, basically, what you have to do is you have to complete tasks during the night while also fending off any animatronics coming your way down the left hallway or the hallway in front of you. How exactly do you do that? Basically, you have to listen for footsteps in your ear, whether they're coming right or left, and it's pretty freaky. You actually have to listen. It's not as hard to listen for them as, like, uh, what's a good comparison? You know how scary it was in Five Nights at Freddy's 4 when you can't hear the audio whether they're behind the door in Five Nights at Freddy's 4? You couldn't hear the breathing for shit. Thankfully, the footstep audio? A lot louder than Five Nights at Freddy's 4 type breathing. So, thankfully, the footstep audio, not that hard to hear. So, when you hear them coming, you just look in the direction to see if they're actually walking in real time towards you. And if they are, hide under the desk and wait until they've completely left your office. And then, come back up. However, don't hide under your desk for too long, because there might be something there. I don't want to say too much. But there might be something there. So yeah, basically complete tasks during the night on your computer and uh, avoid the animatronics. Now, one thing about the game is it's easy. The gameplay is easy. For uh, someone who like me who's scared of everything ever of all time, a flea could come in and, and land on my shoulder and I could go, wah, you know, like I'm a big scared little bitch boy. However, this game obviously scared me. It wasn't the scariest game I've ever played and not even close to how scary Indigo Park was either in my opinion and which means it probably won't be as scary for you considering how timid I am when I play these games because once you realize the gameplay and how easy it is it makes it a lot less scary jump scares are there jump scares in the game yes it's a Five Nights at Freddy's game what fucking Five Nights at Freddy's game would it be if there was no jump scares uh, however, are the jump scares scary? Uh, I, I guess it's subjective, however, they were a bit scary. To be honest, I did jump once, and I did have a little bit of, oh, like, another time. However, not that scary. Not the scariest jump scares I've ever seen. If I had to say what was the scariest jump scares I've ever witnessed, probably, probably whenever I played, uh, one of the Tubbyland games. That one was horrifying. That was horrifying. But the, the no, 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 no. Uh, Control Freak is not nearly on the level of the type of jump scares even the original Five Nights at Freddy's game games have. But uh, I suggest that anybody who enjoys Five Nights at Freddy's, they should play it because it is an interesting experience at the very least. It's, it's, it's a unique experience because not many Five Nights at Freddy's games have you looking down a hallway when they're coming at you in real time. I don't think that's true. I don't... I actually don't think that's true. I think a few a few games do that actually now that I think about it. I think I think a few games do that. Yeah. So, how scary is Control Freak? Control Freak is a 5.5 out of 10 on the scary meter. Now, is it that scary? Not really. Uh is it all sunshine and rainbows? Not at fucking all. Now, 
it's scary when you first start playing it, but the illusion starts to fade the more and more you play it because it's an easy game. And that is one of the biggest things that makes a lot of games fail to be scary is they're easy. I had that problem with uh, Five Nights at Candy's 2. Easiest game I've ever played. It would have been scary. The setting was scary. The atmosphere was terrifying. Extremely easy game, which made it go down a few pegs. That is why, if the game was harder, I might have even bumped it up to, to like a 6.5 out of 10. Control Freak is pretty scary. Once the illusion's gone, though, it's gone. You can't, you can't get it back. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you want to see more of me, consider subscribing. Join my Discord server. Link is in the description. We can talk about whatever the fuck you want. Talk about this game, that game, that game over there, that game behind me. Now... Uh, I want to do more of these videos. I don't know what like games to do for these videos I know what I want to do how scary is still wakes the deep I might do that one soon after I actually finish still wakes the deep because I have a bad issue with not finishing the series that I do on YouTube But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I want to do more of these videos I did a smaller game for this video because just to get me back into like the the top like just to get me used to talking straight to the camera again without like playing a game I, I figured this would be a good one to get me back into it anyways yeah thanks for watching see ya